sa paggunita ng ikalimang daang taong anibersaryo ng Kristyanismo sa Pilipinas, ang pambansang dambana ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay naitalaga bilang isa sa mga Jubilee Churches, Simbang Hubileo, kung saan may Porta Santa o Jubilee Door. Sa mga makikibahagi ay ipagkakaloob ang plenary indulgence na ikinawad ni Papa Francisco. Ito ay natatanging biyaya ng pagpapatawad sa kaparusahan mula sa mga kasalanan. Kalapit nito ay ang pagsasagawa ng mga sumusunod. Ang Pangumpisal Ang pagtanggap ng banal na Eucharistia At ang pagdarasal para sa Santo Papa Ipanalangin din ang katapatan ng mga Pilipino bilang mananampalataya, pagdami ng may bukason sa pagpapari, hermano at madre, pagtataguyod ng pamilya. Magtapos sa ama namin, sumasampalataya at pagtawag kay Inay Maria. Sa pagpasok natin ng Porta Santa, Alalahanin at isapuso din natin ang hamon na maging masigasig na tagapagpalaganap ng Ebanghelyo. Ibahagi natin ang piyaya ng pananampalatayang ating natanggap bilang mga misunero, misunera ng nakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate uh, the commemoration of the four martyrs, redemptorist martyrs from Ukraine. Blessed Nicholas Charnetsky and his companions. 
Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, I that I have greatly, greatly sinned, sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, words and what I have done and what I have, and what and I have, what failed, I have to failed to do. Through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Glorious and ever-living God, you brought salvation to humanity through the cross of Christ. By the merits and intercession of the blessed Bishop Nicholas and his companion martyrs Vasil, Senon, and Ivan, grant that in difficult times we may be steadfast in the faith and enjoy eternal happiness in their company. And we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. Remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David, that is my gospel, for which I suffered hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure, if we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. Now you have observed my teaching, my conduct, my aim in life, my faith, my patience, my love, my steadfastness, my persecutions, and my suffering, the things that happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra. What persecutions I endured, yet the Lord rescued me from all of them. Indeed, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Ezra's song. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. If the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Those who lay down their life for the Lord, say, we rise with the Lord. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torment gone over us, 
over her head would have swept the raging waters. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a spray to their teeth. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. Indeed, the snare has not has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Those who lay down their life for the Lord's sake will rise with the Lord. Please so stand. Alleluia, alleluia. We praise you, O Lord, and we bless your name. The mighty arm of martyrs praises you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of them, for they will hand you over to councils and flog you in their synagogues. And you will be dragged before governors and kings because of me, as a testimony to them and the Gentiles. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. For what you are to say will be given to you at that time. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will betray brother to death, and a father his child. And children will, will rise against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name. But the one who endures to the end will be saved. And this, my brothers and sisters, is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated for a while. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast day of our Mother Perpetual Help. So, Still with us are the flowers dedicated and given to our mother, uh, especially dedicated to Jesus, the saklolo na ating sinasabi. We reflected on the message of the image of our mother perpetual help, ang bawat imahen ng larawan ng ina ng laging saklolo may malalim na pakahulugan sa atin na tila ito ang larawan ng Ibanghelyo. Sa ating pagdiriwa ngayon ay ibinabahagi ni Jesus ang pagsunod sa Kanya ay maglalaan ng buong buhay natin. Na ang pagsunod sa Kanya, katulad ng mensahe sa imahen ng ina ng laging saklolo, kung saan ang ating mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay Yakap-yakap ang batang si Jesus na natatakot at ang kanyang kamay ay nakadaup sa kamay ni Jesus at ang kanyang daliri ay nakaturo sa puso ni Jesus na tila sinasabi sa atin, sundin ninyo siya. Sundan ninyo ang yapak niya. Siya na nagsasabing, I am the way, the truth, and the life. At sa araw na ring ito ay ginugunita naman natin ang pag-aalay ng buhay ng mga martir na redemptoris na ngayon ay uh, pinahalagahan bilang blessed ng simbahan. Sila ay sila blessed Nicholas Charnetsky, sila Bishop Basil, Ivan, Father Ivan and Father Sinon. At ano ang kanilang mga Uh, naging buhay kung bakit sila ngayon ay itinatalaga bilang martir 
ng simbahan. Katulad ng larawan ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo, ang krus na siyang tinitingnan ni Jesus na daladala ng Angel Gabriel, Archangel Gabriel, ang sibat, ang koronang tinik na hawak-hawak ng mga Angel Gabriel at Miguel, ang larawan ng magiging buhay ni Jesus. Na ito ang magiging misyon ni Jesus. At ang panawagan ni Jesus ay sundan siya. Siya na laging saklolo na sa pamagitan ng krus na kanyang pagdadaanan ng pasyon at kamatayan ay siyang krus ng tagumpay, ng resurrection, ng pagkabuhay na muli. At ito ang biyaya na sa ating dibusyon sa mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay laging ginugunita, sinasariwa, pinasasalamatan. Biyaya ng Ama na sa magitan ni Maria ay nagkatawang tao si Jesus upang ang panawagang pag-ugnayin ng biyaya ng Diyos Ama sa pamagitan niya na Diyos Anak ay siyang papag-alabin sa mga katulad ng mga martir na silang Bishop uh, uh, Nicholas, Bishop Basil, Father Ivan, Father Senon na nag-alay ng kanilang buhay. Ano ang istorya ng apat na martir na ito bilang mga redemptoris? Kung kami mga kapatid uh, bilang mga redemptoris na nagtataguyod ng debosyon sa mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay tinatawag na Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer. Si Jesus na dumaan sa pasyon sa krus ng pagpapakumbaba upang iangat ang dangal ng tao sa muling pagkabuhay, ang siyang sinundan din ng mga martir na ito. Dumanas din sila. Sa panahon ng gera ay nagpatuloy silang nangaral sa pagtuturo sa seminaryo, sa pamagitan ng mga misyon sa mga baryo, naglakbay uh, sila sa iba't ibang mga lugar upang ibahagi ang mensahe ni Jesus ng kaligtasan. Katulad ni Juan Bautista na siyang nagpakilala kay Jesus, sila rin ay kinulong. Katulad ni Jesus, ang isa sa kanila'y ipinako sa krus. Sila'y dumanas ng hirap, ng pasakit, ng torture sapagkat panahon noon sa Ukraine ng gera, uh, Second World War, at uh, sa bahagi ng Ukraine sa Russia ay uh, sinisiil ang karapatan na magbahagi ng salita ng Diyos na siyang nagmumulat sa mga mata ng mga tinuturuan ng mga martir na ito. Kaya tulad ng pag-aalay ni Jesus sa krus na siyang dumaan sa pasyon at kamatayan ang apat na martir na ito, ay sumunod sa tawag niya. Kung ang ating mahal na ina ng laging sakloli nagsasabi sa atin, sundan ninyo siya. Sundan ninyo ang puso ni Jesus. Ang bawat puso ng apat na martir na ito ay nag-alab ang pagmamahal. Pagmamahal ng Diyos na naging sanhi ng pag-aalay ng kanilang dugo sa kamatayan, naging martir. Kaya ta, tayo rin mga kapatid, tinatawag sa ating pang-araw-araw na buhay sa dinaranas nating mga hamon sa buhay na sundan ang yapak ni Jesus upang ang tagumpay ng muling pagkabuhay ay ating may pagdiwang. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We bring our needs before God, our Father, whose Son has gone before us and has called us to follow Him. With confidence, we pray for the grace to accept that calling. 
Let our response be, Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. Father, give us the grace to follow your Son. That the leaders of the church and all those engaged in preaching the Word of God may persevere in their commitment to follow Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, grace the grace to follow your Son. That our community may be renewed from day to day through faith in the Word of God, calling them to a better life. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us, us the, grace the grace to follow, to follow your, your Son. For all of us, may we never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the grace, grace to follow your Son. For all the frontliners, may God embrace and protect them as they continue their loving service. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the grace, grace to follow, follow your Son. For those who have offered Masses to be celebrated in the National Shrine of our Mother of Perpetual Help, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father give, give us the grace to follow your Son. God our Father, in our desire to follow in the footsteps of your Son, make us one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Bless away my sins and Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive the gifts of your people, Lord, in memory of blessed Nicholas and his companions. May the Eucharist, which sustain them in their martyrdom, Obtain for us dignity and patience when our faith is tested. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. Your holy martyrs, Nicholas, Basil, Senon, and Ivan, followed the example of Christ and gave their lives for the glory of your name. Their death reveals your power shining through our human weakness. You choose the weak to make them strong in hearing witness to you through Jesus Christ our Lord. In our unending joy, we echo on them uh, on earth, the song of the angels in heaven as they praise your glory forever. 
holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a jewel, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our, our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. us and lead us and not, lead us into, not temptation, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory, the glory are, yours, are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the, word, the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion, 
grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Palunzol, Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, Pray for us. Let us pray. Lord, you have welcomed us at your table on this memorial day of, our, of your martyrs, Nicholas, Vasil, Zenon, and Ivan. Grant us the manifold riches of your grace so that from their glorious witness, we may learn to be strong in the hour of testing and to rejoice in the hope of victory. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass ascended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be me. to God.